Greg Doucette uses logic in almost every other area. He's debunking, he's going, oh, this is, you know, talking about calories in, calories out, fiber, nutrition, what you should eat fruits and vegetables, really, really good stuff. And then he goes ahead and says something dumb like this. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So today's video is on Coach Greg Doucette again. Now, I've made a video about Coach Greg before and it was really well thought out. I've been really super polite. There's a lot of research in there, just like giving him the benefit of the doubt. He has his pet pig at home that he loves and he, I think he stopped eating pigs because of it. When you actually see the pig's face and then I'm picking the meat yeah. and then the pig's face is looking at me like, why are you eating me? He's kind of sympathetic to vegan foods or veganism, what he thinks veganism is. So, she's vegan, vegetarian, she doesn't like eating animals because she's for the animals. I have no problem with that. If you are vegan, that is perfectly cool. That's amazing, you know? As I tried to explain veganism's a philosophy, a moral principle against the exploitation and violence towards animals. His partner, Ali, seems really like moving towards plant-based there, but the last time I heard she was still eating eggs and fish. So Greg had a hard time thinking that a fish was an animal or why would you care about a fish? And the why eggs. do you care about fish? It's not a pig. Well, what a fish is, just swim. It's and I explained about fish sentience, intelligence, all these things. Tried to educate about animal rights and what happens in the dairy and egg industries in Canada. The veal industry in Canada is terrible. But like, um, anyways, as a vegan for like, seven going on nearly eight years now. You ever find people that you really like their stuff, you watch their stuff a lot, you're like, wow, this dude is entertaining. My, my type of dude, straight down the line, hard hitting, he likes to get to the bottom of the truth. He speaks like with passion and conviction. He, you know, he's not a, an apologist. You know, he just boom, he just hits you with it and he doesn't care if it offends you. And I'm like, wow, this dude's great. He's got some good information, been, you know, training for a very long time. I actually watched it, I, I was watching him this morning. And then they just go ahead and say something really stupid about animal rights and veganism. Really stupid. After they've, they know and apparently have seen, you know, vegans videos about him, vegans, uh, they, 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 they apparently understand the philosophy of veganism, apparently, maybe not, but apparently, and then still go ahead and say something really dumb. Greg Doucette uses logic in almost every other area. He's debunking, he's going, oh, this is, you know, talking about calories in, calories out, fiber, nutrition, what you should eat fruits and vegetables, really, really good stuff. And then he goes ahead and says something dumb like this. He's gonna eat some meat. Doesn't mean he's abusing animals or supports abusing animals. Just because you eat meat doesn't mean you support abusing animals. I want to show you what this is in response to. Let's just watch what he responded to here. The use of animal proteins here. And again, I understand the ethical belief behind avoiding animal proteins in a diet. So this is uh, Athlean X. Now, Athlean X got a massive channel. Everyone in the fitness community knows of Athlean X, just like everyone in the fitness community now knows of Coach Greg, he's got a massive channel. And uh, he's saying, he's giving a trigger warning <laughs> when he's doing a full day of eating here, and his trigger warning number three, animal proteins will be eaten. Well, the dead, tortured flesh of innocent beings who had their rights and life taken from them will be eaten. Now, hey Athlean X, I just wanna ask you, right bro, like, if it's not wrong, why would you call it a trigger warning? Like, hey, I'm about to do something racist, trigger warning, like, hey, I'm about to do something homophobic, trigger warning, like, hey, I'm about to eat the dead bodies of animals, trigger warning, like, if it, if it was just animal protein, like, if it was all humane, why the hell would you have to do a trigger warning, Athlean Why? And the way Coach Greg responds to this, he's gonna eat some meat, doesn't mean he's abusing animals or supports abusing animals. Wow. So, like, logic, Greg. Now this is why Greg needs a reality check. He's just, what he's doing, he's in denial. Coach Greg, you're in denial. That's as simple as that. Now you talk to people straight down the line, I'm gonna talk to you straight down the line. My last video, super polite, you know, giving him benefit of the doubt, but this is just, you know, come on. If you think that you don't support animal abuse with financially, and not only that, dude, so you're financially supporting animal abuse when you pay for animal products and you keep that supply chain in business, I mean, uh, 
Coach Greg, smart guy, used to be a teacher, I think. Um, he still is a teacher, but on YouTube. So you understand supply and demand, don't you, mate? You understand supply and demand. If someone has a product <laughs> and you pay for that product, you're supporting that product, aren't you? And if that product is a product of animal abuse and violence, what is it? You're supporting animal abuse. See, one plus one equals two. One plus one equals two. Now let me just break it down for you real simple, Coach Greg, because you like to do that to people too. You break it down simple for people so they understand. Let's just say I found out that there was uh, about 12 people in my local area that had a secret obsession with eating dog meat, okay? So what I started to do was to round up dogs, maybe breed them in my little dog breeding facility at the back of my house to meet that demand. The only reason I'm gonna create that supply of dog meat is because there's these 12 people that demand it, okay? Let's just say you're one of those 12 people, Coach Greg, because you think, oh, dog meat, need to get that protein lowering cal calories, you know? Oh, I love my dog meat. Can't be bothered giving up my dog meat, right? So yeah, I'm gonna go, go buy it off Joey down the road, the dog meat from his dog meat farm. Yeah, it's factory dog meat farm. No, I don't check where my dog meat comes from. I'm sure Joey's like telling me it's humane, it's all fine out the back of his dog meat breeding facility, right? So it's all good. So then what I do is I grab the dog, I smack him over the head with a hammer, and I cut their throat open, and I gut them, and I butcher up their, their flesh, and I give it to you so you can have them in your bodybuilding diet to get your macros, right, bro? And then you go on your YouTube channel and you go, hey, everyone, guess what? You should buy dog meat too. Everyone should buy dog meat. Eat more dog meat than last time. So what happens then, like, it turns from 12 people to like 112 people or 1,012 people, and guess what? I up my business, mate, don't I? That's exactly what you're doing when you talk about eating animals like cows, chickens, don't know if you eat pigs, but eggs and dairy. When you promote all of these products and when you consume them, you're helping create the demand, aren't you? <laughs> That's what you're doing. So you're not only supporting it with your own habits and your own lifestyle, you're also supporting it when you've got a million followers on your YouTube channel and you're recommending everyone do this horrific thing which causes animals horrific harm, violence and suffering. Now, if you don't think animals suffer in animal agriculture in Canada, you are tripping, you are tripping out. Why would you get to the bottom of the truth, the kernels of truth in everything else except for what you're eating do? I think because you're happy, you're satisfied with your diet, you've been eating this way for a long time, you're too lazy to change, to look into these things, but I think, you know what, I'm not even gonna give you that credit that you're too lazy. You are one of the most motivated people I have ever seen. <laughs> you are full of energy all the time. You know exactly how much protein's in tempeh, TVP, uh, soya protein. Texturized vegetable protein. Yeah. I used to eat it as chips when I was a kid. Very Browns high fiber, high protein. You could find vegan proteins that are ne nearly equal in macro uh, nutrient profile that you could probably you know fit into your uh, daily calorie needs and uh, you know exactly how to do that mate because you're smart when it comes to this you can build muscle as a vegan of course you can so don't even worry about that but you are choosing to support animal abuse which I think shows a lot about your character or, or you're just in massive denial and you don't you're too you're too much of a coward to tell your followers hey you know what even though, because most of your followers are meat eaters, mate, mate, aren't they? They're mostly meat eaters. But you might be too much of a coward to do the right thing and to tell your following to do the right thing. Yeah? Maybe? I don't know. I eat meat. I don't abuse animals. People make videos. Coach Greg abuses animals. So does Ali, even though Ali doesn't even eat meat. Oh, she has egg whites. She supports animal abuse. Well, again, Greg, use your logic here. If Ali's consuming ed egg whites and you're putting egg whites in your cookbook you want to eat like coach greg get my freaking cookbook all right you and ali are promoting the, the egg whites do you know what happens in the egg industry i think i explained it in my last video to you but we can explain it again all of the eggs that you are getting come they begin in a parent breeder shed where they fertilize the eggs okay then those eggs will go to a hatchery where they hatch and who hatches out of there a little male chick or a female chick, okay? And because it's the egg industry, the males won't lay eggs, will they? So what happens to them? They go to a little sanctuary. I don't know, they, they go to some fairy tale island. No, what happens, they get put on the conveyor belt and they go down the conveyor belt and get dropped into a blender, a big industrial macerator. And they get blended up and they get fed to pets and in fertilizer and things like this. So this happens to these male chicks on their first day of life. So as soon as they hatch, oh wow, look at the new world. Wow, wh where, where am I? Where am I going? Oh, I'm going into a blender to get ground up alive so Coach Greg and Ali can have French toast, which you can get Follow Your Heart Vegan Egg, and you can find a vegan egg that would support your recipe. There's just 
last egg. You got plenty of money. I know some of these uh, egg replacements are, you know, a little bit expensive at the moment, but you got plenty of money, don't you, mate? Like we all know that you, you, you're pretty loaded because you, you provide a lot of value. You sell a lot of cookbooks. You get a lot of ad revenue. You, you're coaching programs. You make a lot of money. So it's really nothing for you. It's really nothing for you, is it? Like to, to get this follow your heart vegan egg and change your egg recipe, is it? So you and Ali are both supporting the, the horrors of the egg industry, the maceration of male chicks. Now the female chicks, let's just think about the female chicks for a sec. Where do they go? They go, they, they go across to an, an egg laying facility, don't they? And what happens is for the next 18 months, they'll be forced to lay up to 30 times more eggs than they naturally would. Okay, so they're pumping out these eggs up to 300 a year. They usually lay about 10 to 15, 10 to 12, something like this. Now, they're pumping out these eggs, putting enormous strain on their little bodies, a lot of the times in cages, but even if they're not, free range eggs facilities are just as crap. They've got no access to outdoors a lot of the time that they should have access, but they can't get out there. So they're just dying and they're cannibalizing each other. I don't know what, if you've seen what happens in a free range egg farm, Greg, but it's disgusting. I don't even know if you have free range eggs, what? so it doesn't really matter for you. You're probably getting the factory farm caged egg, horrible horror story stuff anyway. And then what happens after the 18 months when they can't produce the eggs uh, at a productive rate anymore? They go and get their throats slashed open all right so after they've been abused used treated as slaves money machines so you can have your french toast they get executed the head cut off all right and that's the truth of it now when you go to the store and you give them your money constantly for the last 25 years how long however long you've been eating egg whites probably 30 40 years and you tell all your followers to do the same and you make a cookbook promoting egg whites what are you doing you're supporting animal abuse so if you just snapped out of it had a little bit of personal accountability and woke up a bit, you would understand that. You would go, wow, yeah, you're right, Joey. You know, I am supporting animal abuse when I do this, but I'm fine with supporting animal abuse. That's what you should say. Just be honest. Just say, I'm okay with supporting animal abuse for eggs or for meat. Okay, just call yourself, look, I'm a happy, I'm happy to abuse animals through my lifestyle, through the supply and demand chain so I can have my eggs. Just say that, just be honest. Oh, she has egg whites. She supports animal abuse. I've seen those videos. So many freaking mosquitoes out there just spewing out nonsense. Come on, people. You've seen the videos. So have you seen my video? I, don't, I mean, I don't know, maybe you didn't. Maybe you didn't see my video. I mean, I asked, maybe people would, had shared it with you. Maybe you've seen a few other videos. Um, but if you seen the videos, that's even worse. That's a damning indictment on your character. If you've seen the videos, you understand the philosophy of veganism, you've seen what happens maybe, like if you haven't seen what happens in Canadian farms, maybe I'll leave some links down below. You can watch what happens in other farms around the world. They're pretty much on par all across the world. Maybe you should go visit a factory farm yourself, Greg, and have a look in there and see where your eggs and flesh and stuff is coming from because it's horrible places in there. I've been in these places myself. I've witnessed a lot of violence and cruelty throughout my time being an animal rights activist and it's not pretty, mate. It's not pretty. So when you say stupid stuff like, he's going to eat some meat, doesn't mean he's abusing animals or supports abusing animals. When you say stupid things like this, when it's obvious, like when you put a, a like, let, let, me, let me put it in the human context, Okay, every time you buy, let's just say every time you buy, you know, whatever product it is, I cut off a human's head, okay? You would go, wow, you're supporting murder when you buy that product, yeah? But when it's pigs, cows, chickens, fish, eggs, dairy cows being murdered, um, you're fine with it. You're fine with it because, you know what, there's something called speciesism where you don't care about, you know, you care about certain species, maybe dogs. Cats, I think you care about pigs, you know. Imagine if it was cats, Greg. Imagine if it was cats. You'd be like, wow, this animal abuser buys stuff from the cat meat industry. Wow, have you seen what they do to those cats? What about the dog meat trade? Oh, have you seen what they do to those dogs? Like, you're just a flat out hypocrite. So many freaking mosquitoes out there just spewing out nonsense. And to have the audacity to call animal rights people mosquitoes who spew out nonsense just shows the irony because Coach Greg, all I see here, dude, is you feel a bit of guilt. It's fine, you're projecting your guilt. You're going, well, like, I'm not supporting animal abuse. So there's denial, there's guilt, because why would you even worry, just go, whatever, whatever. But you obviously do care, you obviously do care. I know a little bit about Greg's character. He's really progressive, he's really inclusive, he cares a lot about, you know, justice, and he's anti-racism, and he's, anti-homophobia and anti-transphobia and all these things. I've watched his videos. I've got a good idea of his personality. Of the color I am. How freaking dare you? How dare you call me racist? How dare you act like I'm racist? Everyone in the world's a circle to me. How dare you act like this? 
bring in a race card. I treat everyone the same. I call the bullshit on the freaking internet. He says, I don't care if you're a man, a woman, a circle, a, you know, whatever race you're from. He's really good when it comes to things like that, when it comes to equality. But how come when it comes to animals, bro, they can be your slaves, get their heads cut off, be exploited and murdered, so you can have a bit of French toast in the morning, mate? Or a chicken breast cut off from the dead body of a little bird, a little baby bird, usually about six weeks old. How come that's all good? How come that's all good? But, oh my God, racism. Oh, I'm so, no racism's evil. You know, uh, people who don't accept um, uh, certain people's cultures are evil and certain people's sexuality are evil. Yeah, okay. But animals though, screw them. Screw them, throw them in the slaughterhouse, in the gas chamber, in, in an electric bath, slice their head off, gut them, throw their guts on the floor, throw their body parts in a bit of packaging and let me throw it on the grill. No worries. That's the way you view animals, you know, just be honest about it. You don't care about animals, just say that. So anyways, guys, um, again, I like Coach Greg's stuff. Um, I watch it all the time. I think he's great. I think he's very successful, uploads a lot of content. Um, hard worker, knows a lot about other topics. I just think this topic here has got a massive blind spot and you should just go, look, just be honest with yourself, bro. Just be honest with yourself. Understand supply and demand. Stop trying to, you know, wipe your hands with any responsibility here when there's blood all over them. Okay, that's what I did. I just looked in the mirror and goes, look, what am I doing here? What am I doing to these animals? Is it justified? Can I find a way to eat, you know, healthily and, you know, get all the nutrients I need? without destining animals to a life of hell. Okay, so I hope this video reaches Coach Greg. Nothing personal, mate. Just You just say some stupid stuff when it comes to animal rights and veganism. I thought this would be a better free-flowing conversation. Just talk to you straight down the line. If you do watch it and you want to get in contact with me, <laughs> my email's down below. You might watch it and it just might piss you off and you'll be like, nah, stuff this guy. I don't like the way he talked to me or whatever. But, you know, look, I'd rather just tell you the truth straight out, bro. Like, if you think that you're not supporting animal abuse when you literally buy the products of animal abuse, then you are in a massive delusional state of denial.